Hi everyone. If you're prepping for the DPWH Project Engineer Accreditation Exam, this video is for you. Let's get started. 1. What is the minimum width of PCCP on national highways per lane? A. 3 meters. B. 3.25 meters. C. 3.35 meters. D. 3.5 meters. Answer, C, 3.35 meters. 2. What is the minimum width of PCCP on farm-to-market roads per lane? A, 2 meters. B, 2.4 meters. C, 2.5 meters. D, 2.75 meters. Answer, C, 2.5 meters. 3. What is the minimum thickness of PCCP on farm to market roads? A. 150 mm B. 200 mm C. 250 mm D. 300 mm Answer. B. 200 mm 4. What is the minimum length of the radius of horizontal curve for PCCP on farm to market roads? A. 20 meters. B. 25 meters. C. 30 meters. D. 35 meters. Answer. C. 30 meters. 5. What is the spacing of dowel bars at 280 millimeters thick PCCP? A. 250 millimeters. B. 300 millimeters. C. 350 millimeters. D. 400 millimeters. Answer, B, 300 millimeters. 6. What is the spacing of dowel bars for 300 millimeters thick PCCP? A, 250 millimeters. B, 274 millimeters. C, 300 millimeters. D, 350 millimeters. Answer, B. 274 millimeters. 7. What is the roadway cross slope for PCCP? A. 1%. B. 1.25%. C. 1.5%. D. 1.75%. Answer. C. 1.5%. 8. What is the roadway cross slope for gravel surfacing of sidewalks? A. 2%. B. 2.5%. C. 3%. D. 3.5%. Answer. C. 3%. 9. What type of angle turns should sidewalks ideally have to guide the blind while following straightforward routes? A. Acute angle turns. B. Right angle turns. C. Obtuse angle turns. D. No angle turns. Answer. B. Right angle turns. 10. What is the maximum gradient for sidewalks as per BP 344? A. 112. B. 115. C. 120. D. 125. Answer. A. 112. 11. At what interval should RROW markers, made of concrete blocks embedded on the surface, be placed along the edge of the concrete sidewalk on each side of the road in highly urbanized areas? A. 100 meters. B. 150 meters. C. 200 meters. D. 250 meters. Answer. C. 200 meters. 12. What is the setback distance from the RROW limit for welcome arches and overhead boundary markers? A. 1 meters. B. 1.5 meters. C. 2 meters. D. 2.5 meters. Answer, C, 2 meters. 13. 
At what interval should RROW boundary marker posts be installed along the RROW limit line, one on each side of the road? A. 0.5 km B. 1 km C. 1.5 km D. 2 km Answer. B. 1 km 14. What is the minimum road right of way, RROW, for national roads? A. 10 meters. B. 15 meters. C. 20 meters. D. 30 meters. Answer. C. 20 meters. 15. What is the minimum road right of way, RROW, for municipal roads? A. 5 meters. B. 10 meters. C. 15 meters. D. 20 meters. Answer. C. 15 meters. 16. What is the minimum pavement thickness for farm to market roads? A. 150 millimeters. B. 200 millimeters. C. 250 millimeters. D. 300 millimeters. Answer, B, 200 mm. 17. What is the minimum radius of the horizontal curve for farm-to-market roads? A, 20 m. B, 25 m. C, 30 m. D, 35 m. Answer, C, 30 m. 18. What is the minimum radius of the horizontal curve for tourism roads? A. 30 meters. B. 40 meters. C. 50 meters. D. 60 meters. Answer. C. 50 meters. 19. What is the maximum distance outside the shoulder for a kilometer post from the edge of the road pavement? A. 1 meters. B. 2. Meters. C. 2.5 meters. D. 3 meters. Answer. C. 2.5 meters. 20. When using reclaimed asphalt pavement, wrap, as a partial replacement for coarse aggregate and hot mix asphalt, HMA, what is the maximum percentage allowed for item 310? A. 15% grading D. 30% grading B B, 20% grading D, 35% grading B C, 25% grading D, 40% grading B D, 30% grading D, 50% grading B. Answer, C, 25% grading D, 40% grading B. That concludes our review of the project engineer questions and answers. I hope you found the information useful and that it helps you in preparing for your next exam. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your engineering journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful content.